Okay, it's a third down play. It's third and nine. And you can see the Browns are lined up in bunch right. The pre-snap read, as you look at it, there's a free safety in the middle of the field. So as the ball is snapped, if you look at the stripe of Baker, the stripe of his helmet, he's going to look to the Beckham at the bottom of the screen. Because any time there's press coverage with a single safety, I don't care what down and distances is, coaches are going to tell you to take the shot. You got the quarterback who can make the throw. You got the receiver that can make the play. So you see right there when Andy stops it, you can see that Baker is looking to Beckham. Well, the reason why he's going to come off him is because of Beckham's release. He gets pushed because the corner's playing outside leverage into the free safety. So now Mayfield comes off of Beckham and gets back into the initial route. So now he's got to bring his eyes back to the field where the bunch set is set up. Now, when you look at the bunch snap, pre-snap, Andy, if you'll back it up, this is just a nuance that when you're watching tape, you can notice. Look at the coverage over the bunch. There's a, there's a nickel pressing the point. And then you've got Jarvis outside, and you've got Hooper. He's the middle. Press there. And so if you look at the way the three defenders are playing the bunch, the staggered look is, in most cases, it's not 100%, but it's in most cases is they are locked on to those receivers. In other words, the point player is taking Hooper at the point. The outside defender is going to take the outside player in the bunch and the inside defender is locked on to number three. If the, if the corner and the number three defender were level, let's say the number three defender had his heels on the 30 yard line on the hash, they would be playing in and out and the point player would take, the point, uh, the point defender would take the point player wherever he went. But pre-snap, I know that the outside defender is locked on number one and the inside defender is locked on number three. So Mayfield comes back on third down and nine. He's looking to take the shot to Beckham down here at the bottom. And Beckham takes himself out of it by not trying to get the corner off his grass and getting an outside release. So now this is where... Mayfield really does a nice job because this is tough to coach and I'm not going to go into the footwork because there's some subtle things he can do better, but he comes back inside and hits Hooper on the run one foot in front of the numbers. Now Hooper does a great job against man to man coverage. He gets an inside release and watch what he does. Once he gets through he squeezes vertically, which forces his defender to turn his hips up the field. And now he's won the route. By, by squeezing vertically and then breaking friendly, he's created an initial, initial separation to make this play. Jarvis, at the top of the screen in number one, does the same thing. Watch what he does. He releases outside. Now he, he gets the defender off. Now he gets inside, and he breaks and runs, and he stays friendly. So there's a lot of nuance here coming off the receiver, getting back into the route, and hitting – Hooper one-on-one. -on -one. Now, if you look at the end zone, you take a look at the end zone right here. It's a really a good job by Bill Callahan and the protection system. It's a 30 front. You can see 55 and 59, the linebackers lined up over the guards. They both come. So they're bringing five. Now, here's the subtlety here. Just when you watch tape, look at 27 pre-snap. Take it all the way back. See where his stripe is? He knows he has 40 in this six-man protection, but if they bring 55 and 21, he's got to go block 21 because Baker Mayfield knows because 30 is in the middle of the field and I've got a six-man protection, they can't bring plus one and be, be sound. So 27 does a nice job of not only checking his scan, but going ahead to go, to go at number 40. And when number 40 hugs up, watch 40 here, he hugs up. He knows he's just green dogging him so he can release. By that, I mean he, know, he knows he's not blitzing so he can get out in the route and clear the space for Hooper coming across the middle. This is a great job by the quarterback. It's an excellent job on the protection. Watch the center come off. If you go over it one more time, watch the center come off, and they zone off 98, 55, and 96. They pass it off. And they give, and, and again, subtly here, the nuance here, watch Mayfield naturally, quietly slide, finds the quiet area of the pocket and is able to complete a throwing motion against a five-man rush. 
this is really outstanding. All 11 guys, really all 10 guys doing their job. The only minus on this play, in my opinion, is Odell Beckham's initial release because he had a chance to catch a touchdown pass on a one-on-one -on -one shot against the corner. Coach, would you by formation try to isolate Odell, put him on the backside of trips well, like that? Would that that's be... what they've done. That's what they've done. They're saying, if you're going to single cover Beckham and not bring the safety over to cover, we're going to throw the ball to Beckham. Beckham takes himself out of the play right here. All three by ones, as a general rule, if the, ma major, the major portion of the route is to the three receiver side, which this is, the quarterback and receiver will take the one-on-one -on -one as long as the free safety stays in the middle. The free safety stayed in the middle, but the corner does a good job of funneling him inside and bringing the free safety into the, th into the deep throw. So because of that, uh, uh, Baker Mayfield does a hell of a job getting his feet in position to get back to the primary part of this route, which is to throw the ball to Hooper or Jarvis on the one-on-one in-breaking -on -one routes.